Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I share tips and tricks on how to work with free web design applications for all your graphic design needs. And today we are going to learn how you can change the color of an object using free web application called Canva. If you're into that type of content, please do subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. So here I am at canva.com and now I'm going to select an object which I'm going to change, which color I'm going to change. I'm going to go to uploads. That's where I have already uploaded all my graphic design elements. And today I want to work with this slice of lime. And let's, let's say I really like this slice of lime. I like how it looks, but for my graphic design needs, I just need it to be an orange instead of lime. So I want the color to be orange instead of green. How do I do it? How do I change this color? Let me tell you straight away that there is no simple one button click option to change color in Canva. There is just no way to turn green into orange in one click or black into purple. But when there is a wheel, there is always a way. And in Canva, it just requires a bit more patience and a bit more clicks and a bit more creativity. So how do we do it? How do we change this green into orange? First, we are going to select our object and then we are going to click edit image. And here we have a panel with various editing object, uh, options. And we are interested in this app called Photogenic. This is basically a collection of filters that you can apply to your image. But the beauty of these filters, and that's what not many people know, is that they are actually cumulative. So you can apply them multiple times onto the same object. And the effect of the filter will be cumulative. Uh, let me explain what I mean exactly. So you see straight away, there is no exactly a filter that would give me an orange instead of lime, but I have this filter, filter called Sangri, which is kind of has shade of orange to it, right? And that's a good way to start. Let's apply this filter to our image. Just click on it and it takes a few seconds for Canva to apply the filter. I'm going to click apply. And again, a few seconds. Apply again. Right. Now we have a new image. So I, I mean, that's the same old image, but in terms of Canva algorithm, that's a new image that now has a new color. So you can apply a filter to it again, and Canva will treat this image as not as, as not green anymore, but this kind of uh, rusty reddish orange color. So let's apply photogenic filter again. And you see, we have a we have much more options now that will take us towards the color that we need. And there are already pretty good orange options, but in order to just illustrate my point better, in order to illustrate how the filters work, how the cumulative effect of these filters work, I'm going to choose this bronze color. And Again, Canva is showing us the preview of how our object is going to look like in this filter. And you can actually click various filters. Before you click apply, Canva will show you previews. So you can play around, you can click different filters, different options, and Canva will show you the previews. But once you click apply, you cannot see the preview anymore. So we are going to apply our filter. And now we are going to apply a third layer of filters to this object. So you, you will see how the cum accumulation effect works. I'm going to click photogenic again. 
and here we go we have all types of orange here whichever orange you like you can even turn it into a grapefruit if you don't want an orange but today i want an orange and i want this slightly slightly more vivid shade of orange a filter called elder so i'm applying a third layer of filters apply and apply again takes a few seconds for canva to apply the filter and there you go we have our slice of orange it's it doesn't look like lime anymore but let's compare it to the original image i'm going back to uploads i'm going to select my lime my original lime you see how different it is and one thing that i must note uh, what I really like about this method is that it does not change the resolution of your original image. So let's say you are preparing um, a graphic design that you want to print out on something. So you're likely, you, you likely want it to be high resolution and you do not want your filter to change the resolution of your original image because it will affect the quality of your print. And that's exactly what happens or exactly what doesn't happen here because the resolution of your Im image does not change. You can safely change the colors and don't need to worry about uh, the change in resolution. And this method works with um, a lot of, uh, I, I mean, if, we, if I wanted to change this lime into purple instead of orange, I think I would be able to do it. I would likely have to play with filters a bit more and find the the right uh, the right combination of filters before I get the purple color. But I think I would be able to do it. Let's actually see what we could do if we wanted purple instead of orange. Yeah, I think I would go with this tundra filter first because it has a, a shade of blue into it like teal blue and i think that would be the road to purple eventually because it's 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 cold color there is a hint of blue in it and eventually i believe i'd be able to turn it into purple i would probably need to play with filters a bit more but yeah it would be possible so that's it there you have your orange we just changed the color from green to orange and just a side note this method works with all the elements that you upload yourself if you want to change a color of one of canvas native elements then um uh, I can tell you that it always works with photos but it doesn't always works with the graphics of canva uh, it's just that that uh, photogenic app is not always available for some of the canvas native elements but with everything you upload yourself it always works and i've been using it for some quite some time quite successfully and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed and if you did please uh, give me a like uh, share comment and subscribe to my channel and thank you very much